Did you know that American women who are at a, are, who are at a childbearing age, they don't get enough vitamin A, 78% aren't taking enough vitamin D, 92%, 92% aren't getting enough fiber, something really important. On top of that, a report from the CDC found that 16 million American women are at risk of an iron deficiency. So what do we do by knowing what the best foods are for your body during your pregnancy? If fortunately enough, our very own Dr. Jennifer Ashton yes. has come to the rescue. She has a new book out called Eat This, Not That, When You Are Expecting. There it is. You know, I saw this concept and I was impressed. I mean, I think there really is a need for a guide for pregnant, pregnant women to how to eat and, and to address some of the unique issues that accompany being pregnant. No question. And I think this, the really the motivation for this book came at, after taking care of thousands of pregnant women, women. And what I noticed is that the number one most common question, and this persisted, whether they were trying to get pregnant through all trimesters of their pregnancy and postpartum, the number one most common question was, what should I eat? What shouldn't I eat? And about food and nutrition. Gaining enough weight, gaining too much weight, how to lose that weight. And it's not a topic that gets covered enough. So let's walk through this then, because you obviously wrote this book with uh, pregnant women in mind. Let's talk about food fixes for certain pregnant symptoms, starting well, with... with well, what starts first? Morning sickness. <laughs> <Starting sickness. laughs> <Starting sickness. laughs> I can honestly say I've never, stomach. you know, I've never been Ugh. pregnant, so I don't know what this feels like, but <laughs> I feel so bad when I see women going through this yeah. because you want to help, but sometimes it just seems like women you feel can. helpless. And let me tell you, rather than trying to get a prescription or something over the counter, foods like this can be really, really soothing, especially ginger. But again, if you eat the real foods, you're gonna get more bang for the buck on, on a number of levels. So oranges, some citrus, some crackers, avocado, guacamole is like the perfect food and small meals throughout the day will help that nausea. Now the other thing that I see so many pregnant women suffering from heartburn. is heartburn. And Ugh. it can be debilitating, obviously yeah. they're physical and anatomic reasons for it. Totally. So we have a lot of cures in eat this, not that when expecting. And this is an easy one, chewing gum and cranberries. Awesome Ooh. for heartburn, great antioxidant, dried, or you can make your own low sugar cranberry sauce. So we have again such that a common problem, there. and you don't want women going real heavy duty on any acids. No, not at all. And again, you're getting multiple bang for the buck with all these recipes, and we really go through this and eat this, not that, by by problem, by trimester, and there's a lot of good stuff in there. And, well, Dr. Ashen, we are proud of you. Thank I can you tell you beyond equivocation that if I were pregnant. I would be buying this book. Thank you, Travis. And guess what? I had to give it to everyone in the audience. So you guys. Yeah. Are and if you're at home, you can enter for a chance to win a copy of Dr. Ashton's new book by heading to our website, thedoctorstv.com.